Steve here from Steve's Internet Guide and this video we're going to have a look at uh, Node-RED. Uh, Node-RED is a flow based tool uh, and IoT dashboard. It was developed by IBM and written in Node.js and it's uh, an open source project. It lets you easily create what's called program flows um, by joining together black box functions using drag and drop uh, all through a, a web interface. Now you can install it on Windows, Linux and Mac and the instructions for Windows and Linux are over on the website and there's the URL there. I'm not going to uh, cover the install on, on this video, uh, I'm just going to go straight into the demo so I've already installed Node-RED. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start up Node-RED and then I'm going to connect to the web interface and I'm going to configure a simple flow, it's going to be a, a MQTT example where I'm going to subscribe to a topic on, on a broker and then I'm going to see the messages coming into that topic. And the setup is that I've got, um, I, or I'm going to run Node-RED on a, a Linux machine. Now this, this could be a, a Raspberry Pi machine, but it's uh, an old laptop that I'm using. So I'm going to run Node-RED there and I'm going to manage it or I'm going to configure it. Um, from my Windows machine using a browser. Because it's a web interface you can configure it from anywhere. So let's first start up Node-RED. So I just go to the command prompt and I type in Node-RED. So Node-RED started and at the bottom it tells you what port to go to to connect to this. So I'm going to go to my Windows machine and connect to this port. So let's just drag that to the side for a second. And you should see a screen similar to this. Now the uh, the nodes are here on the left and you to use them you drag them simply from here to, to the workspace over here. And that split into sections we have input, we have output and various other ones. Right at the bottom we have dashboard. Now you may not see these, um, these are optional modules uh, or optional nodes. Uh, you need to install the dashboard module and I cover that on the website under the install section so if you're not seeing this it's because you haven't installed the dashboard module. Okay let's uh, set up a simple flow then and I'm going to do a subscribe flow so I need an input module so grab the MQTT input module and you should notice straight away that we've got a couple of icons here. We've got the triangle and we've got the blue circle. Now the triangle means it's not correctly configured. So if I double click it, I can configure it. Now you may not see an entry here. Um, this is because I had one configured previously and I deleted it. And I'm just going to leave it. So if you're not seeing anything there, you need to click on the edit button to add one. Topic is going to be census. And I'm going to use a wildcard and quality of service is zero and then I'm done. The triangle's gone away. The blue circle's still here because I need to deploy it so it's not finished until it's deployed so deploy. And we get a successfully deployed and we get a connected icon here if it connected successfully which it did. If I go to the Linux box you can see here that's registered on the console that is connected and you'll find the console uh, very useful for uh, troubleshooting and we'll come back to that in um, subsequent videos. So let's drag it out the way again. Okay we're not seeing any messages yet because I'm not actually sending any and I haven't configured anything to catch them so I'm going to configure a debug option so I just drag it in here and then I need to connect the topic sorry let's just connect them together and then I need to deploy them and it's successfully deployed and if I go to the debug screen I'm seeing a message here off um, this is because it's a retained message that's the way I'm publishing now I'm not sending any other message, I'm, I'm just going to start the script now that sends the messages. So let me go and start that.
So that script's running now, and you can see the messages coming in here. Now, um, all it is, it's a, a simple um, light uh, sensor simulator, and it's going to publish on or off. I know it, it's publishing off at the moment, and it won't change until I actually change the state of it. And it's designed to be externally controlled, so I need to send it a command to change the state. And what I'm going to do in a subsequent video is configure node um, so that we can actually send commands to that sensor that's running and turn it turn it on and turn it off but for this video I just wanted to demonstrate how you actually how you actually create a simple flow and to show you the the node interface and we're going to finish this video there if you have comments then leave them below um, if you like the video then use the like button below if you want to be notified of new videos on the channel then subscribe to the channel also uh, i publish a newsletter uh, which you can subscribe to if you go over to the website if you're if you're interested okay until next time bye